I'm going to talk about the craziest uh, regimen I've ever done in my life. Basically, it was between the time I won the California overall to the time I was competing in the USA's and I placed seventh. Um, in a year, I put on approximately 48 pounds of muscle. Uh, I weighed 231 on stage at the California, and I think I weighed, it was, uh, I believe it was two, 287 at the USA's on stage. And I placed seventh, so you know I couldn't have been in that bad of shape. Um, but it was just an incredible amount of size that I had put on, and I did everything I could that year um, as far as winning that show. Everything I did from the minute I woke up to the minute I went to bed was about winning that contest. Obviously, I didn't win; I got seventh, and that was kind of what my fire burned out after that show because I had put so much into it and did everything I could, but. Let's cut to the chase here. Basically, I was eating 12 solid meals a day. I was eating every hour and a half to two hours. Um, typical meal was two chicken breasts, eight egg whites, and uh, uh, two to three cups of rice per meal, eating that 12 times a day. I was training twice a day. I was doing cardio twice a day. And when I wasn't training or doing cardio, I was taking a nap. I would sleep four to five times a day. Um, you know, one to three hours each time. That's, that's what I did because I felt that was the best possible scenario to put on the most amount of muscle humanly possible was to break up my sleep so I could eat more, train more, do more cardio. <clears throat> Drug-wise, I was taking two IUs of growth every hour and a half to two hours. So this was 15 years ago, remember. So this was back 15 years ago, and this is how ahead of time I was is I was taking growth every hour and a half to two hours throughout the day, you know, and I uh, tried to take it on empty stomach. It's kind of hard when you eat 12 times a day. Uh, but I was taking, you know, approximately 20 I use of growth a day as far as my steroid cycle. You know, back then, um, I was taking two grams of test, probably six to 800 milligrams of trend, probably 600 milligrams of equipoise. Um, I was taking 300 milligrams of injectable anadrol a week and uh, and the 20 I use of growth. And for me, that's, that's probably the craziest I've gotten. And uh, I was growing daily and uh, the amount of muscle I put on my body was insane. And that was a time where I noticed I had a little bit of stomach growth going on. When I looked at the pictures from the cow to the USA, you know, my, my belly of button had became her herniated and I noticed my stomach kept protruding a little bit in one year. And uh, that's when I kind of told myself like, what am I doing, you know, what am I doing? I'm just, you know, doing, just doing crazy shit to try to win this contest and I didn't even win. I got seventh place, I didn't even get a trophy. You know, and I probably spent, honestly, I probably spent about 15 grand, you know, on that contest and I got, I had nothing to show for it, nothing. So uh, that's, that was kind of the eye opener for me that, you know, maybe this bodybuilding thing ain't all what it's, uh, you know, cut out to be, you know, I started to open my eyes. But anyway, a lot of people asked me what my craziest cycle was and that was my craziest year of just doing whatever it took to win that show and, you know, 20 IUs of growth, hey, 15 years ago, some pretty crazy shit.